Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amlan Sekar, your host, and you are watching Cosmic Forensic Books. Guys, as I promised you that I am going to bring a video on the progressive forensic science, and I here I am with the video. So let's start without wasting any more time, guys, because it, this video is gonna be a hell of a video. Because in this video, you're going to get a a lot of information about the history of India, history of forensic science in India, as well as the recent progress in the field of forensic science in India. So here we go. As we all know, as we all know that forensic science is the application of uh, basic sciences in the code of law. Now, due to an increase in the crime over the years and decades and generations, it has made the society dependent on the law. The methodologies and techniques offered by forensic science helps the law enforcement agencies to detect crime in time, on time and enhance justice. Keeping a check on the types and intensity of crimes, uh, forensic science techniques are being upgraded in order to deal with it more effectively. Now, From the quality of food we eat to the potency of drugs, uh, adulteration of substances to purity of substances, forensic science evaluates everything and helps law enforcement agencies in the detection of crimes in a scientific way which is admissible in the court of law. Now guys, it has to be very important. It has. It is a very important factor and aspect of forensic science that whatever forensic science give you, the results, the analysis, the examination reports, it has to have an admissibility in the code of law. Without this, there is no value of forensic science in India. Because, because if your results, if your uh, examination reports aren't admissible in the code of law, there is no use of it. There is no use. Uh, you, can, for, you cannot utilize forensic science to its full potential. So it has to have an admissibility in the code of law and it does have an admissibility. It reports uh, because of the scientific uh, way, uh, scientific techniques and methodologies, methodologies which, is, which it offers, it, admiss it is admissible in the code of law. Now without uh, wasting any more time about this, on this, Let's start with the evolution of forensic science in India. Now you all will be amazed to know that the first ever reference of forensic science was found in Cortelius Arthashastra way back, way way back. Now though forensic science in the form of forensic medicine came into the picture way back in the 16th century, but a full-fledged forensic science lab was set up at Lyon in 1910 by Sir Edmund Lockard and that's why he's called the father of forensic science. Yes. Edmund Lockhart is called the father of forensic science. Now in India, forensic science came into the picture with the establishment of a chemical examiner's lab, first of its kind in India in 1849, which was capable of toxicolog toxicological analysis of viscera, uh, chemical analysis of edibles, and biological analysis of stain of bloods, cements, etc. Now all the biological fruits uh, in, in, <clears throat> in all. Now this was followed by uh, by the establishment of other department of forensic science like the anthropometric uh, anthropometric bureau. Sorry guys, this this is like a gibberish. It's not a gibberish. It's like tongue twister kind of thing. Anthropometric bureau at Calcutta in 1892. Formation of first ever fingerprint bureau was all uh, all over the world across the globe. The first ever fingerprint bureau that was being set up in the world was at Calcutta in July 9, 1897. Followed by the establishment of a department of uh, um, explosives, which was headquartered at Nagpur, but with five other branches at Calcutta, Bombay, Agra, Madras, and Gwalior. Now, uh, the, the first uh, question document uh, department was also opened at Calcutta in 1904, and a government examination of uh, question document GEQD uh, was appointed now it was the it was then shifted to shimla in 1996 the department was only for two years at calcutta and it was then uh, shifted to uh, shimla in 1996 now it was followed by the establishment of serological department note for sure uh, department department of ballistics uh, everything at calcutta with time though individual def uh, departments of forensic science were being set up across india but a need of a proper forensic science lab with all of its uh, departments at a single place within a single lab was the need of the hour back then which led to the first uh, establishment of the first ever forensic science laboratory in india in 1952 it was it was a state forensic science laboratory that was also being set up at calcutta it was then followed by sfsl bombay 1958 and gradually other state forensic science laboratories started to form but the crisis was still there thus the first cfsl was formed which was also at calcutta in 1957 with four of its units, Forensic Physics, Forensic Chemistry, Forensic Biology and Forensic Ballistics. In 1970, a Neuron Activation Analysis Unit was set up there, but which was but that was shifted to Bark later on. Now, second CFSL was formed at, uh, nine, at Hyderabad in 1965, followed by uh, Chandigarh 1961 and uh, CFSL Delhi 1968. And the other three uh, CFSLs 
Pune, Bhopal and Guwahati was being set up recently like in, in the last ticket between 2012 and 2014 if I'm not wrong. Now to enhance the uh, quality of forensic experts and scientists, uh, forensic courses were being introduced at the University of Sagar, Madras and Punjabi College in Patiala. Uh, Bureau of Forens uh, Police Research and Development BPRD was formed in 1970 followed by the Institute of Criminology and Forensic Science in 1971 at New Delhi. Uh, gradually various colleges and universities started to include forensic science as a course in their curriculum which were, which which so much started to happening in the field of forensic science in India proper board to handle all these things was needed which led to the formation of DFS as Director of Forensic Science Laboratories in 2003 under Ministry of Home Affairs Government of India. Now this are the this is a, a kind of a brief of the uh, history of forensic science in India. Now, talking about the recent progress in uh, technology to counter the tech crimes in India. In order to deal with any sort of crimes, it's very much needed to study the criminal behavior and the psychology behind their crimes. Thus, forensic psychology came into the picture, but it was introduced in India by Dr. Uh, Prabhu Chandra Bose in 1917. But forensic psychology, uh, full in a full-fledged way, the progress in the field of the forensic psychology in a full fledged way started to happen a decade ago only not not much before that uh, like after the 2000s and the forensic psychology gave rise to the various techniques like polygraph test narco analysis brain signature profiling etc which work as an aid to the investigation procedure but their legality is still under question the forensic dna fingerprinting gradually came into the indian scenario during the late 1970s with its first center at cfsl calcutta with the rise of technology uh, technology uh, technology uh, not technology technology and internet to be precise or uh, to be more precise the digital world cyber crimes took place to handle and challenge this sort of crimes brought digital forensics into the indian forensic scenario now various it cells were inducted it act 2000 and its amendment in 2008 when um, started to happen to strengthen the laws regarding the cyber crimes uh, that started to happen in india now another technical uh, technology forensics like uh, another technology Forensic speaker identification was also inducted or in, uh, included in the labs for speaker identification behind anonymous calls, tape recorder, bomb voyage, sexual harassment, etc. Now, with rise in technology with respect to electronics and computer technologies, led to the rise of modern computerized speech spectrograph to analyze voice. Now, audio video examination is used in forensic digital enhancements in age analysis, authentic interpretation from video and other imagery came into the, came into the picture. Concept of cryptography and its applications to strengthen privacy, forensics tried to minimize the time of investigation procedure came into existence in India. Now, automation in forensic uh, forensic equipments, which made the use of all the instruments like GCMS, MS, UV spectrophotometer, uh, IR, etc., became much easier. And computerization of forensic science laboratories, which has led to the proper lab management and storage of data, are some of the latest inclusions in the for Indian forensic scenario. Now, these are the some recent uh, enhancements in with respect to technologies and tech crime, tech crimes that has been uh, made in India. Now, talking about the latest developments in the crime scene management, the automation in crime scene management are being done these days. Leica Scan Station 2, Scan Station 2 is a high speed, high definition 3D laser scanning system that is being used to quickly measure uh, the crime scenes, uh, crime scenes, support investigations with greater speed and accuracy. Which is that's why and that is why it is being used. Another technology named Promadis Case Man plus CSI is used for lab management. CSM CSM stands for Crime Scene Management, Exhibit Management, Sample and States Management. Now, in order to standardize and make something look authentic, accreditation is very much required. Same with the case of forensic science laboratories. Thus, it has thus four CFSLs and few of the state forensic science laboratories are being accredited by NABL, NABL National Accreditation Board for Labs. Now also forensic experts now have to have proper degrees and certifications in order to in order to give their testimony and expert opinion and to work as a forensic expert in India and Indian uh, forensic scenario. Now these are the latest developments with respect to crime scene management and the other uh, forensic science laboratory management. Now that was the uh, that was a brief about the progressive forensic science in India and uh, hope you guys got to know about a lot in forensic science the history of forensic science in India a lot in the sense uh, briefly because if I because there is so much to talk about the development of forensic science in India there is so much stories behind it and if I started to if I start to talk about the all all the sort all this all this uh, stories in detail 
and you know it will require like it will go on and on for two three four hours so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up share it among your friends and please do subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye